Hey guys, so I have here my JBL Flip 2 Bluetooth speaker and for some time the battery has not been working that well anymore so today I want to show you how to replace the battery in one of these speakers here. In case you're searching for a new replacement battery then I'm going to provide a link below so you can check out that. But now let's start to disassemble this speaker here and that is relatively easy. So we start out with a prying tool here and I'm going to uh, remove the sides here, both sides, and those are just glued into position so you can relatively easily pry those off. And then on the one side we find here these uh, switches, and then on the opposite side um, we just find a small antenna. And um, we want to be relatively careful when we do this so we don't accidentally rip off uh, the antenna that we're going to see in a second. You see here that I'm trying to detach the rubber from the speaker everywhere except for where we see this NFC written on the side here. So you see now when we get to that part then we see this little plastic piece and that is the antenna. So you, I want to put my finger on there so I don't accidentally rip off this antenna. Okay so next we have a couple of screws here. So on both sides we find four screws, small Phillips screws. So we're going to remove those next. The next I'm going to continue to look at the side with the buttons and we're going to remove here this entire panel we want to do this really carefully. So first we're prying loose uh, the entire, also this rubber piece that's behind the button panel. And then we see here there's this black goop that's uh, kind of sticky. And behind there, there's also a really fragile uh, ribbon cable. So we don't want to accidentally rip that off. That would be really bad. So really be careful when you remove this right now. And now we can separate that uh, disc with the switches in it and the rubber piece here and we can slide the disc through the rubber piece and now we can uh, detach this entire rubber piece here. So you, this is kind of glued on so it's a little bit sticky but eventually you will be able to retach it. So we just carefully rip this all off all the way down to the opposite side of the speaker. And now here we can also detach it from the rest so we can take off the entire white rubber piece. Again be really careful with this end here because there is another cable here that goes to that antenna. See this is still connected so be careful when you do that. So also here we are going to detach the disc now. And then we can separate the antenna with a prying tool from this other white disc. See this, uh, it's relatively easy to remove, it's only glued into position. And then you slide this antenna right through that little gap that you see there. And now we have this this completely removed and we push the antenna through that small hole here of that rubber piece and now that rubber is also already gone. Then the next step is to remove the silver plastic bracket and that is held in place by just two Phillips screws. So let us remove those. And then next we can of course now detach the silver plastic bracket. Uh, there's just maybe a little bit of resistance here where the charging port and the auxiliary port and also make sure that you don't accidentally rip off that antenna on the one side and we have to carefully feed that disc with the switches and the ribbon cable here through the other end. Then the next step is to remove the grill and that is attached by a couple of uh, clips here on the sides, on the left and the right side. There's On each side there's two clips and then on the center there's two screws. Uh, right now you can only see one of the screws here on the bottom. The second screw, that is located behind the LEDs for the charging status. You see those five dots on that little PCB board on the top. So we have to carefully pry off this board and then behind there, there's another Phillips screw. And you really want to take your time when you do that, when you remove the board here, because it's, it is glued on the uh, plastic casing and you don't want to accidentally break the board, even the breaking the traces only, which you don't really see. And then there's also another small ribbon cable connected to the board. So you don't want to accidentally uh, damage that one either. And now we can finally get to the second screw that holds the grill in place. So this is also a small Phillips screw. Let's remove that quickly. So now we are able to remove the grill entirely. So I'm just going to bend this open a little bit and can squeeze it through. And then we have the remaining body of the speaker. And that is held together with three more screws now. So you see this little channel see on the side. So on each side you find one of these channels. And at the end of it there's two more Phillips screws. So let's remove those two. And then there's one last screw in this hole here right next to the small PCB with the LEDs for the charging state on it. So we want to remove that also. And after we've done that now we can relatively easy pry open the shell here, this black shell. 
just be careful when opening it up because there is a couple of wires going uh, from one side of the shell to the other so you don't accidentally rip those off so really carefully and slowly open this thing up and now we have full access here to the inside of the speaker now the battery is located behind the motherboard here so we need to remove this also and the board is held in place by two more screws uh, one here in the upper left corner where this rounded corner is and then another screw on the lower right corner so after we removed those two screws now we can tilt out this board here and then we see here on the right side that's where the battery is located at you see this when we bend this open you can see the old battery luckily for us the wires to the batteries are not soldered onto the motherboard there's actually a connector so we can easily unplug the old connector from there and then take out the battery now the battery is held in position by more of that black goop that we see everywhere so we can relatively easily just take out the battery here and we can immediately see that there is something wrong with the battery because we see here how puffy the battery has become so that is not normal and that usually indicates that the battery is bad and needs to be replaced now here i have my replacement battery it specifically says it is for the flip 2 and since it doesn't come here with this little foam piece that is stuck onto the old battery i'm going to detach this from the old battery and i'm just going to stick it on the new one so this is going to be a layer of protection so that the battery doesn't get punctured by the PCB. So now there is still a lot of that black glue in the back of this case here. So I'm just going to place the new battery into a position that's going to stick automatically. I'm going to make sure that I don't forget to plug the connector back in. Now the connector is coded so you cannot accidentally plug this in the wrong way. It's only going to fit in one way. Now we can already start to reassemble everything. First we're starting out with attaching here the two screws onto the motherboard, one on the upper left corner and then one on the lower right. In case you did remove any other connectors to get better access to the back side of the motherboard then now's the time to plug those back in also. For example I removed here the ribbon cable from the motherboard that goes to the switches so I have to make sure that that is properly connected again otherwise I wouldn't be able to use the switches after we have put everything back together. And now before I'm going to start closing the speaker back up I make sure that the two wires here that go to the one antenna on the one side is going through the hole here. I'm going to stuff a little bit of that glue in there also. And then I'm doing the same here with the ribbon cable on the opposite end. I'm going to make sure that there's enough of that black goop here right where the two halves meet so that this area is going to be really airtight. That's really important so that you don't lose bass so that your audio still sounds the same so now after i put the two halves back together i'm first attaching here the three screws that we took out earlier and then at those two locations where the cables go through here the housing that's where i'm pushing some of that black goo all really nice in there so that these areas are really airtight then the next step is to attach the grill back on you have to check that you slide in the housing here in the correct direction. You see the grill is kind of coated, so the positions of the uh, screws. So you see it will only work in a certain direction. And remember you have the two screws, one in the center here on the left side, and then the other one is hidden behind that small PCB with the uh, LEDs on it. Then we also have to attach the outsides of the grill here by feeding the grill over those clips that we have here so uh, in case you have a hard time getting it behind there then just use the screwdriver like I am just push them in there after that we can now attach the silver bracket here again make sure you have this also in the right direction look for the small holes here on the top where we see the status of the battery make sure those are on the same side as those little LEDs uh, and the PCB then we feed the button panel here on the left side through the hole and then afterwards we feed through the wires for the antenna on the opposite side. Then of course we don't forget to put the two screws back in here on the top and as soon as we've done that we take the huge white rubber piece here again. The one side here that has the smaller hole that goes through the side with the antenna so we feed that through there. And then we can already attach this white plastic piece here by uh, first feeding through the antenna, putting it into this hole here, that little cutout that there is. Make sure you have the correct alignment here of this disc here. Make sure that the antenna is on the basically on the bottom of the speaker, so not at the top where we have that silver bracket. So now of course here we have the four 
small screws that we add in and then we reattach the big rubber piece here that has the NFC on it. For me this is still kind of sticky so I can don't have to use any extra glue. Make sure that the NFC riding here is on the bottom right by the antenna otherwise it will not fit right so there's a little cutout uh, that this has to fit into. So I just have to press this on firmly and it sticks already by itself. I don't have to add extra glue in my case. Then we basically do the same thing for the opposite side. We just have to feed these, the little keyboard here through uh, the rubber. When you take a close look at the keyboard, you see on one side you have here this little plastic pin here sticking out. And that one goes to the top of the speaker, so where the silver uh, plastic bracket is. So align this correctly, add the four screws. And then when we take the rubber end piece, the end cap, that also has this little key here on the top, so you see exactly the correct orientation for this. And for me this also is still really qu uh, sticky, so I don't have to add extra glue. It still sticks enough to just hold itself in place. And now we're already done, and we can try out our speaker, the new battery here, if it still works. Let's press the power button here really quick. Yeah, so the speaker is back alive. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please write a message below. And if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up.